So we are in the middle of Dartmoor and we've got a little mission on really today. We thought, right, we're going to um, go out and check out. Back in January, we were out at Princetown at that uh, Railway Ramblers rest place. And basically, um, I'll let, oh, so we're, um, at the moment we're in Postbridge um, in the middle of Dartmoor, but we're heading out there in a minute and checking out the pub stop uh, behind the Plume of Feathers, because we saw the Plume of Feathers Oh, hang on, I've, got, I've been called. Hang on, two secs. Bear with me. What, um, so we're heading out there to check out the um, pub stop behind the plume of feathers. Plume of feathers. <laughs> it's the plume of feathers, sorry. I'm thinking back to the uh, Prince of Wales, the other pub. But the plume of feathers is the... And I filmed it and it was looking pretty redundant and tired. Um, but yeah, it's, there's hope on the horizon. Noisy bike. Noisy bike. So... Um, so we just thought we'd have a little trip round Dartmoor and take in some of the sights and uh, we're stopped here because we're going to check out the Cla Clapper Bridge in a minute but I'm going to have a look in this shop as well. Lee, thanks a lot. Yeah, so um, yeah, we're just having a little... Uh, Ca Caroline um, spotted this little post office here in the middle of Post Bridge and uh, she's going to... Um, check out one of their pasties the pasties in here absolutely smell divine look at in there they got beautiful pasties and sausage rolls especially if you're having a nice hike out across the moors or something but um, and they've got all the little local stuff here wild honey look at this lovely really nice here so um, we are now going to um, oh and they got all this stuff like they got to, oh there's the club so we are actually going to go down to this clapper bridge and check the clapper bridge out let's go and have a look at that so he gets waylaid with the pony poo chocolate and uh carol's happy as larry it smells of the divine that pasty i must admit um but so i, I did have my toast this morning so i don't want to be uh, too greedy so she's gonna go up on the clap oh you're going up on the clapper bridge this is the clapper bridge how nice is this one let's get down a little bit closer in this direction and check it out oh look at that it's looking nice this morning look at this down on the water whoa look at that oh that looks lovely doesn't it that looks lovely and the uh, the actual road bridge with these arches with the water coming underneath on a day like today it's starting to warm up a bit yes yesterday started to get a bit more uh, nice temperatures 20 degrees so um it's all good but look at this water. Wow. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to get up on that clapper bridge. Caroline is standing right on the middle of it, look. It's uh, big lumps of granite. Big slabs that have been here absolute eternity, I should think. Don't, know, don't even know when it was built. Long time ago. Oh, that water down there looks so clear and that bridge right in underneath it look come down one side of the river and just wonder whether I can get back over the other side uh, easily but um, I don't think I can uh, no I don't think there's any stepping stones here it's a little bit um, deep in places so I uh, don't think I'm going to uh, go for that one but it's really nice this morning down here look at this lovely 
Caroline's up taking some pictures and uh, she's like, get out of my way. So I've, I've kind of walked down this way. Got a nice little seat down here. Look, so you can just come down here with a nice pasty and uh, sit by the water, listen to the water just flowing, and view that amazing Clapper Bridge. How nice is that? Um, Caroline said that pasty and I reckon it might have been a rose Cornish one so yeah they got all the, all the swag here look. there's the clapper bridge would have come in the moor Dartmoor sheep and I think we've uh, covered most of it nice yeah, so we've just walked up here at the uh, visitor center at Post Bridge, right in the heart of Dartmoor National Park. And uh, the guy was actually saying um, to me earlier on, uh, before I parked up, I went to the, um, you've got to get a ticket here. Uh, they got like toilets and stuff here. Uh, picnic tables, you can get out here with your uh, food and have a nice picnic, which is beautiful. Uh, but the minimum is, um, uh, three hours at three pounds and they're trying to get it ordered so you can just pop in like we did and just have a uh, you know maybe an hour for a quid or something like that so that's what they're trying to do but uh, I'm going to take uh, a look in the visit center in a sec just uh, have a quick look while we're here and uh, um, yeah but it's all good it's nice it's nice Dartmoor Just come into the visitor center and they got some really nice books here yeah we we're saying it's crazy are you uh, so we're quite local really to this and you just like um, don't even uh, give it the time of day crazy but uh, today we are we're having a good look and uh, taking it all in all these epic places that we know so well my goodness I want to come out and uh, do a bit of walking all the maps, Ordnance Survey maps, they've got all the guidebooks in here, like Dartmoor Prison, Breakout, we've already done that, we've already done that. Escapes from Dartmoor Prison, looks an interesting book. Wow, trying to do a reenactment. Mugs. Books for all ages. Come out here, get one of these guidebooks, like Dartmoor Wilderness Walks and go trundling off into this epic national park got some lovely what oh these are cards these are nice uh, cards it's turning out to be mighty interesting in here because they've got all these old artifacts look from prehistoric dartmoor 
I got all these axe stone arrowhead. Crikey. <laughs> wow. Some nice stuff. What's this one then? This is um, older bronze. Bronze stuff. Let's have a look at this. Oh yeah, look at this. Wow. Daggers. Spearhead. Cool. Some nice stuff. These are this is old stuff. Very old stuff. We've actually got a uh, stone her circle hut sort of reconstructed in here. <laughs> is uh, yeah, well half of it anyway. So uh, yeah, got some nice displays. Oh, some more um, shaping the world. Like, what's this all about then? Bronze fragments of bronze spearheads. Got it all here. So that's what it was like walking across Dartmoor in the, the old days. Wow. All these uh, ceremonial bits of rock, stone circles, all these little interactive displays and they were just um, replica Kimmeridge shale beads, that's interesting isn't it? A group of over, uh, it's over in, what else? 90, Kimmeridge, that's it. interesting, wow. So we have made it back to the Plume of Feathers. Look at this, and look at this big sign on the wall. The Plume of Feathers is coming back. Stage one, reopening summer 2023. Um, it's gonna be a challenge, but bear with us. And uh, they're hoping to breathe it back to a amazing pub like it used to be. And uh, I remember, I was just talking to the guy that's actually doing the refurbishment now and uh, hoping to uh, open it up pretty soon, in June possibly. So um, maybe get a, you might be able to get a beer in June, but um, yeah, we were literally here in the end of January, and uh, I remember like walking up past here, and it was all looking uh, green, and uh, and all of a sudden now straight away it's looking a so much brighter and it looks like they've cleaned everything down um, it's pretty exciting and what it's all about for us is the fact that they have got a camping field behind that's going to be available for uh, parking your motor on
what I'm going to do is literally come up around the side of the pub so you can get... Oh, so if you remember, we were parked over in this... This is where we were parked up with the Railway Ramblers Rest, so there is available parking in there. But um, I'm just going to take you up this little lane and we'll get a little overview from the back. But uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting because this is a really nice place to come and park up. And they've got uh, a fair bit of space. They're just having some wranglings at the moment with the, uh, the planning, getting planning um, back on for uh, the parkings and stuff like that. There's a lot of sorting out to do. So they've been uh, super busy. But um, this is the kind of area. And uh, he is um, talking about in the future, um, maybe get some electrical hookups. Um, but this is their kind of camping field. And basically this is like the, one of the hard standing areas um, for like people like us, motorhomes. And the pub is just down through there. So I'm just gonna uh, get over here a little bit further into the corner this is the camping field look so it's really nice and popular with um, walkers and on a day like today what a location this is just i'm just half tempted actually to uh, get up here a little bit further and uh, let's get a little uh, backdrop of where we are there's beautiful lovely benches here look this place is so nice it's really exciting Right, let's get uh, get over this way a little bit so we can see the uh, back of the pub. And from here, I'll tell you what, the views aren't shabby. <laughs> Look at the view. We're looking out across the pub. So this grey building is the Plume of Feathers. And they've got a big function, like a well, big um, area inside there. They used to like do dining, beautiful old school flagstones on the floor. Um, yeah, really retro, really, you know what I mean? But um, he apologised for the, um, the, the debris lying around, so just ignore the debris. He's had a lot of rubbish to burn, um, a lot of skips to take away. But um, look at the horizon over in the backdrop across here. It's just uh, so nice. And this is going to be absolutely spot on for camper vans. Oh yeah, hard standing. And basically, what a place to come in the winter, you know, at the end of the day, uh, with hard standing areas like this, um, he's got some nice ta look, tables over there, sat outside. I love it. I think it's um, definitely, look at these old, um, just checking out these like big granite kind of like rolling. That's, they've sort of used them down through here. It's like, uh, yeah, just, just abandoned. But uh, there we go. That probably a bit longer term, um, so well, it probably be short term actually. They have actually got toilets and shower facilities here because they've got some like bunk houses for walkers, so uh, toilets, showers. So for like vans with um, no facilities, you can probably still come up here and uh, use the facilities. But uh, there we go, we're at the back of the pub now. It'll just be so nice to see it uh, refurbished, re-up, energised, and uh, how nice is it down here? So nice down here. Just gonna come, just gonna drop down. Let's drop down and have a little look. That's, uh, yeah, they got super little terrace out here. Here's, here's the dog. This, this dog was making a lot of noise earlier on because I was banging on a caravan door. <laughs> and, uh, but look at this area. There's, seat, there's going to be seating outside. It's going to be absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Go. There it is. The plume of feathers. 